A Bad Promise A Buddhist Story of Wisdom by Tara Chaturaj In the past and even in some places today people have superstitions One such superstition is that a large or unusual tree like the banyan tree is inhabited by a tree god or some kind of spirit this is why people in india hesitate to cut a banyan tree if it is growing on the wall of their house or on their roof some people think that if they can make a promise of offering to this tree god the spirit will help them in some way if their desire is fulfilled they become morally bound to make the offering otherwise disaster may fall on them and on their family once upon a time in the city of kashi now known as varanasi in northern india a businessman came upon a sacred banyan tree he immediately thought there must be a spirit living in the tree he was not doing that good in his business and so he made a promise to this tree god that he would perform an animal sacrifice if his condition improved it just so happened that his wish was fulfilled beyond his expectations but whether by a god or a demon or by some other means no one knows The man was sure that the tree god has answered his prayers and so he wanted to keep his promise since it was a big wish it called for a big sacrifice he got many goats mules chickens and sheep and tied them near the banyan tree then he took his knife and prepared to kill the helpless animals for the sacrifice the spirit living in the banyan tree appeared and said oh friend you made a promise you are now bound by that promise isn't it you think you must keep that promise in order to be released from the bondage to it but if you commit such a terrible unwholesome act even though promised by sacrificing the lives of these helpless creatures the unpleasant results will put you in much greater bondage for you will be forced to suffer those results in this life and even by the worse in the hell worse as well the way to release yourself into future deliverance is to give up your unwholesome actions no matter what the man looked confused towards the spirit and kept on thinking and furthermore the spirit added since you think i am a true god what makes you think that i eat meat haven't you heard that we gods eat better things like stardust and sunbeams i have no need of meat or any other food offerings then it disappeared the foolish man understood the mistake he had made 
instead of doing unwholesome deeds that would force unhappy results on him in the future, he began to do only wholesome deeds that would benefit him and others. What's the moral? Keeping a bad promise is worse than making it.